Hey folks, my name is Chuck. You might know me as Matt Cat Music on the Audio Programmer Discord or on YouTube. I'm going to show you what goes on in the Programming for Musicians C++ for Musicians 7-day trial. Let's dig in on this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to sign up for the trial. All right, so we'll click that red button right there. Let's start the experience. It's going to show this little pop-up over here. I'm going to punch in our first name. And let's say we found us through an Instagram post, maybe. Instagram. All right, and have I ever used Slack? I'm going to say no just for the purpose of this video so I can walk you through um, the Slack experience on uh, Programming for Musicians. Here we go. So I'm going to say no for this, all right? I'm going to click the Get button, and that is going to get me signed up for the trial. Let's take a look at what sort of material you're going to receive right away from the trial. Okay, so in the trial, you're going to receive seven emails from me. Uh, let's take a look at what those are. Um, now, if you don't happen to receive them, perhaps they go to your spam folder or whatever, you can view them over here. If you go to gumroad.com slash library, all right, you're going to sign into your Gumroad account or make one if you don't have one, and you're going to see the trial right here. If we click on it, we can see all of the emails that we're going to be receiving. Okay, let's take a look at the day one email. The most important thing you can do right off the bat after you um, finish reading all of it is to join the Slack workspace. This workspace is where you're going to be able to message me directly if you get stuck on any of the steps when you're setting up your development environment, if you're trying to build your plugin for the first time, if you get stuck working on one of the projects, um, like you come up with an error message or something and you just can't seem to solve it or whatnot, or you get stuck doing the whole commit process. This is where you're gonna message me directly and we're gonna be like, hey, let me get you squared away. Um, yeah, no, fix it here. Hey, this is what you need to do. Hey, add this here. Oh, try this thing instead. That's where all that interaction and mentorship is going to take place. Okay, so that's the first thing you should do once you finish reading this email is to do that. Join that workspace. Okay, the next thing you should do is um, um, you should click this blue button. This blue button is where the videos are going to live for the trial. When you get each of these emails, they're going to have uh, uh, one or two videos attached and these videos are going to um, be the lesson for the day. So let's take a look at the day one lessons. I'm going to click this button. All right. So for this one, there are two videos attached. There's a starting from scratch video for Windows and for OS X. Let's take a look at the OS X one. When you click this blue button here, it's going to open Gumroad's video player and it's going to start playing the video. Now, I don't think I speak too fast, um, but if you're not a native English speaker, you can click this button right here and you can change the playback speed and hopefully it'll help you get the information that you came here to get. All right, let's go back to the email. One of the mo one of the big questions is how much time is this going to take up of my day? So I have structured the course in general and the trial to just take up about 30 minutes of your day, um, excluding the very first day. Um, the videos are short enough that you're only gonna need about 10 to 15 minutes to watch them to get the information out of them. Uh, to learn the material. And then the tasks that go with the videos are, they take roughly, you know, 15 to 30 minutes each to do them. It really depends on how well you retain the material and how quickly you can start applying the material. Um, so the first day is going to take the longest because you're setting up a development environment. And it's also highly recommended that you start from a blank slate. Um, and by that, I mean you're going to create a blank partition on your hard drive and you're going to install a fresh copy of your operating system. And then from there, you're going to go through the starting from scratch videos and set up um, either Xcode or Visual Studio and then set up Juice and um, set up the first Hello World plugin, um, Hello World project, and then create the uh, PFM Project Zero plugin. Okay? So. The reason behind this is that if your main computer is a music production workstation, you probably have hundreds of audio plugins in there. On the day two, when you build the audio plugin host, you are going to be required to scan all of those plugins. And I'm sure some of them are iLock based. And if you're running audio plugin host in a debug environment, you can't run iLock plugins that way. It's gonna crash the auto plugin host. That's just an issue with iLock. They don't want you to be able to attach a debugger so you can debug it and figure out how to crack it. Okay, that's I'm not trying to mess with any of that stuff. So I am recommending everybody just create a blank partition, install OS X on it, install Windows 10 on it. It's very easy to do. They've made it a pretty painless process. It'll take you maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour max. And then from there, you can go through the process of setting up the working development environment and whatnot. 
Okay, if you do that, that's going to resolve 90 to 95 percent of any issues that will ever come up when you're creating um, your working development environment. Okay, so I can't recommend it enough. Create a blank partition, install a blank, a blank fresh copy of um, your operating system of choice on there when you start this trial. All right, one last thing. This course starts from the assumption that you have never written a single line of code before. So the first two or three emails um, that have project related tasks in them. If you ever feel like you wanna move faster than this, don't be afraid to send me a message in Slack and say, hey, I wanna move faster than this. Can I get the next few tasks and whatnot? I will gladly send you the emails for the, uh, the days that come in advance. So if you're like a real go-getter, you can get all seven emails in one day and just, you know, bang through all of them and whatnot. Whatever you put into this course is what you're going to get out of it. Um, I had mentioned that if um, the tasks are set up to take, you know, 20 to 30 minutes each and the videos are pretty short. Um, on the last couple tasks in the uh, days uh, five, six, and seven, um, if you want to, you know, spend a good 30, 45 minutes writing some, you know, pretty, pretty, uh, a pretty good chunk of C++, by all means, go ahead and do that. I'm going to check all of it and just make sure it's all cool um, and make sure that you're following good habits and whatnot. Um, again, this is all started from the idea that you've never written a single line of code before, but you really want to learn how to make plugins or you have a really cool idea for an app or something that you want to put on your iPhone or your Android phone or your, your tablet or you want to... Um, make a cool app that runs on the computer. So, yeah. All right, this covers basically what the trial is all about. The next video is going to cover what happens in the Slack workspace and um, also what the projects are like. All right, so I will see you over there for that video.